In the event you have a shipment that requires a pre-trip inspection, so basically if you're pulling any ITS trailer or one of our customers' trailers, you will have to do a pre-trip and post-trip inspection. Okay, In order to do a pre-trip inspection, pull up your active load inside the shipment. In this case, we're on 526385, and it'll show here at the top I need a pre-trip inspection. So before I can pick this trailer up, I'm going to have to hit that button. So pre-trip inspection. It's going to say driver accepts responsibility for all damages not indicated during inspection, basically saying that if there's something wrong with the trailer and you do not notify us prior to picking up the trailer, you could be held liable. So we're going to hit accept and continue. It's going to say, what is the carrier's name? In this case, ITS. Driver name is Chris. It's me. And I'm going to hit facility name. I'm picking up at ITS and the physical location, 50 West Liberty. It's now going to ask for my trailer number. I'm going to put 555i and my license plate number for the trailer 234567. Just to make sure we have the right equipment being logged here. I'm going to hit continue. And it's going to bring me to a basic DOT checklist of all the things we need to check on the trailer anyways. Um, for training purposes, I'm going to say we're good on everything except our tires, we're gonna have a little bit of an issue with the tires here. And in that case, I'm gonna say no, we have a defect, continue. Our defect description, I'm gonna say balding, mildly. And choose my image. It's gonna say if you've already taken a picture, you can go to your library and take a, send us that picture. Otherwise, you can hit camera and it'll now take you to your camera. In this case, I'm going to take a picture of these tires that are totally roadworthy, but could use a little work and might need replacing soon. So I'm going to hit a photo of that. Hit use photo. It'll upload that picture in there, and then I can hit upload documentation. Okay. Documentation has been uploaded. Close. When I do something that is a defect, it's going to prompt me to say, does this need to be listed out of service? So that's going to be up to the driver in the moment if they feel like the vehicle or trailer is not roadworthy, they could decide it's gonna be out of service and at that point they would need to contact us. If this is not the case, I'm gonna hit understand and I agree to the above and hit close. It's then going to prompt the driver to go through a full inspection of the trailer on all sides, okay? So we're gonna start with the front. I click on front. Is there damage to this section? No. Either way, it's gonna make us take a picture to prove that. So I hit choose, hit camera. There's the front of a trailer that is in perfect working order. Take a picture, use photo, upload images, and I'm going to continue on through each section of the trailer. Okay. Next, we're going to go to the back. Is there damage to this section? No, there's not. So choose image from my camera. Take a picture of the back of the trailer and use that photo. Upload images. We are good again. Next, it's going to show me that I need to take a picture of the passenger side of the trailer. Is there damage in this section? No. Choose image. Camera. Side of the trailer looks good. Use that photo. Upload the image. And then we get to our driver side of our trailer. In this case, we actually do have some issues. Is there damage in this section? Yes, there is. It's going to ask where in the trailer is the damage. In this case, it's going to be in the back right. I'm going to turn that off. Hit the back right section of the trailer. What is the damage type? There's a hole. Okay. Brief description. Hole and dent in bottom right. Choose my image. Go back to my camera. In this case, as you can see, there's definitely some issues with that trailer. I'm going to take a photo of it, use that photo, choose the image, and upload it. Close that out. Is there any additional damage to this section? In this case, no. Everything else looks good, so I'm going to hit no. Inside the trailer, it's going to ask if the trailer is sealed, because if the trailer is sealed, clearly we can't take a picture inside the trailer. But if the trailer is not sealed... We now get a chance to look inside the trailer. So is the trailer sealed? No, it is not. Choose image from the camera. 
everything looks good inside that trailer, take a picture, use the photo, upload the images, and we're on to the next step. The last piece, which it won't prompt, is a seal image. So in the case that the trailer needs to be sealed, we're gonna help protect the drivers as well by having them take a picture of the seal. So choose image, camera, and in this case, I can take a picture of that seal on the trailer to prove the trailer was sealed and get that seal number in the picture if possible. Use photo, upload images, close that out, and then I'm gonna say this inspection of this trailer is complete. Now, in this situation, there was damage to the trailer that would probably make it so we can't be picking freight up with it. In that case, that driver should be contacting uh, their dispatcher. They should also be contacting ITS and letting us know there's an issue and that the, tra the trailer is no longer roadworthy. But let's pretend that that damage to the left side of the trailer was not massive and they could have gone down the road because there's just a scratch and they just want to let us know about it. We could hit complete inspection. Inspection has been completed. Hit close. And now that driver is free to leave. Now, when they get to the receiver, they will now have to do a post-trip inspection. You can see at the top there it says start post-trip inspection. The system will also notify the driver if he leaves the shipper and has not done his pre-trip inspection. He will get an update on the um, app saying you have now left the location and not completed your pre-trip inspection. Please pull over immediately and get it taken care of. If you guys have any questions about how this thing works or have any uh, other ideas or what you need us to do, let us know and we'll get it working on it. Have a good one.